Listen, we're so close in encounter with death, we don't even know. Any moment, anything can happen. We can die any second. And when you're dying, life becomes more beautiful. Everything you see, the tree is more beautiful. And when we have the expedition date, and we're no longer gonna be around, everything's beautiful. Everything's more lovely. I think death has a bad rap. How could life be so beautiful and death be bad? Shalom, Yashraga. Before I begin, I'm going to start off by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashim El Shai, Bashim Rakakudash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations unto the elect. You know, today's lesson is going to be on um, death. Okay. Now, to me, death gets a very, very bad reputation like what what um Mike Tyson said in the clip in the beginning. You no, know, before I, you know I'm not saying, you know, you should want to die, okay, before I, because I already know people are gonna you know but you shouldn't want to die but but when a sibling or somebody somebody dies, okay, you shouldn't know and understand that they are done they're done all right they're done suffering they're done having to worry about bills they're done having to worry about everything okay in this life when you're living yes life is a beautiful thing life is very beautiful but we are very very vulnerable in this life all right there's heartbreaks you know, there's, there are, you know, diseases we can get. There are, we have to worry about bills, all right? We can get homeless, you know. In this life, there are many, many things we have to worry about. When you're dead, when the, when the Lord time, says your time is up, you have to understand that there's nothing you can do about it. Or there's nothing you can do about it. You know, and it's scary. It's very scary. But, you know, we have to, we have to, you know, understand that the Lord is the one who makes everything happen. He makes everything happen. Life and death is in the hands of the Lord. And death is a beautiful thing. All right. And there's this quote that says, you will never understand the beautiness of death without having a bitter life or something along the lines of that. And it's true. You know, we suffer daily in this in this life. All right, we suffer daily in this life. All right, when, when you have to wake up and the first thing you worry about is having to go to work, having to labor, having to... to to, to oh shit, am I gonna have to pay rent today? Is when when's the rent due? Is it due tomorrow? How much do I get paid today? When you have to, when that is what the first things that come up to your mind when you wake up, that, that that's a very stressful life. Okay. All right. Now, with that being said, life is also beautiful, okay, you know, when you find, you know, I'm just, I'm just using worldly things for now, okay, I'm just going to use worldly things, when you find that, that, um, when you find that success, right, when, when you hit a new goal, something, when you get a goal, you, you, you finally get a woman, that you that you've been wanting, you know, you finally get a good woman, you know, that the Lord sent you as a gift, you know, for being a prophet, for being for being whatever, you know, if the Lord blesses you with a woman, that's something to be happy about, all right. We don't take our woman for granted, you know, not 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 the not the righteous ones, not the not the ones who are trying their best, you know. We don't take those women for granted, and that that's a lot. We get a bad reputation on that, but we don't take them for granted. 
Ask any married brother. Ask their wife, actually, and they'll tell you. All right. They will tell you. All right, because brothers love women. All right. But the reason why we get on women so much is because of how out of order they are. We want women to come in order. We want women to come in order. Think about that. If we hated women, if we really hated women, wouldn't we just let them do what the fuck they wanted to do? You know? But, Salaki, I'm getting off track. But, yes, life is beautiful. Yes, you get this, you get that, you get this. But death is also beautiful. And death is necessary. Just as life is, death is also necessary. And that's what people don't get in their heads. That death is necessary. People have to. Have to, you know. Because we're only on one planet. Right right now, we're only on one planet. You know, so death is necessary. And, and, and that relief. Alright, imagine... Let me get a scripture, okay. All right. Um, let me get Ecclesiastes 30 and 17. Death is better than a... It's like, yeah, death is better than a bitter life or continuous sickness. Okay. The Lord is saying that death is better than a bitter life or continual sickness. Okay. A bitter life. All right. What is the cause of depression nowadays? How many people are depressed or claim to be depressed because of this bitter life? But we have to keep pushing, you know, because if you kill yourself, you're a coward. If you kill yourself, that's that's used like a big that's like a big slap to the face from the Lord. How, would, how are we going to end your life when the Lord gave you something so beautiful? Life. Yes, you might have certain things, but why didn't you just go to the Lord? You know? Why would you just end it? Instead of just going to the Lord. Say, you know, hey, you know, try to get closer to the Lord. And try to get closer to, to God, what these people say. You know, try to get closer to God. You know? But, you know, I'm just like if we're going off track so much, but death is beautiful. Okay, death is necessary, just as life is, all right? And I'm going to repeat myself. I'm not saying you should go and want to die. But what I'm saying is that if someone chooses, all right, not chooses, but if someone dies, understand that death is a beautiful thing. Death is a relief of, of all pain, you know? You finally go up to the spiritual world and you meet the Lord and he will he will decide from you what's from what you did in this world, what you get. You know, so with that, I want to give up praise on going to Yahweh, Bashim Shai, Shalom.